Okay, so what we're doing this week is looking at how to incorporate an ultrasonic sensor into our code. Uh, last week we looked at the spaceship program. We're getting lights to work based on uh, timing and pushing a button. Uh, this week we're taking the button out and we're going to see if we can't get some LEDs to light up based on how close objects are uh, to our ultrasonic sensor. And so in the classroom, you'll see that I've dropped in a, an assignment. Essentially, we're looking for the end of next week. Uh, probably an apostrophe there anyways. Um, if we need to go more longer than that to get this right, it's no problem. Um, I was able to do this in about 25 minutes. Um, but I do have a lot of experience, so I expect it might take you a couple of classes, and that's totally fine. Um, the requirements here are that we create a distance finder. And the LEDs will light up, more and more LEDs light up um, as you get closer to a wall. And so I used five. You could use four. You could use seven. It's up to you um, to decide how many pins you're actually going to use up on the board. So I got at least five and the ultrasonic sensor. And so then there's some more instructions here. Um, so there's a link down below for the code. That drops us into this page here. And this is the same sensor that we have in our kits. So you can watch through a video if you want. I didn't actually watch it, so I don't know what's all in there, but we're not using this display. So we want to make sure that we... Um, you can read through this if you want to know the background information. Here's a good diagram of how to set it up. So you'll see that from our board, we're running five volts into the red line, the red bus, and ground into the blue or the black bus, blue I guess. That allows us then connect connect out from there to the ground pin. You'll see a GND. And so you're going to put this ultrasonic sensor into your board into four separate rows so you can bring in the different lines. So get that connected, pushed in in a separate in four separate rows, nothing else in there. We're going to bring red which is our 5 volts, over to the VCC pin. That's going to be our voltage we bring in. Usually 5 volts for VCC. Ground is the black line. And then we look at the other two pins here. There's trig, so this is our trigger. because gives it some voltage to do something. That's going to be yellow, and that's going to go to pin 9 to work with the code that's given down below here. So pin 9 for yellow, or you can use whatever color wire you have, jumper. And green goes to uh, echo. And this actually tells us the distance once we get it. So green will go run over to pin 10. Once you have that set up, you'll be able to use this code down below here. Uh, as you can see in the code, we're calling, we're, we're defining something. This is a constant. An int is a type of variable. That's an integer. Trigger pin. We're just any variable name. We we'll call this the trigger pin because that's what it is connected to on the ultrasonic sensor if you look closely. Pin 9, we wired that in. And the echo pin, we wired into 10. A couple other variables are here. So that's some declarations of variables and pins. We go to the setup here. We'll be using this pin, call it an output, echo pin, call it an input, and then the serial we are not using. So you don't need this one because we're not using the screen. All right, we're going to go to a, a loop then and start doing things over and over again. And here we have a right trigger pin low, delay in microseconds. We don't really want to change any of the code from here down to here. Because if we just use this code as it's written, and you can walk through it, and you read up above the, the, the rationale for it, in the end, we get a distance calculated for us. And that distance is, is explained up here why we do that. So that gives us a distance then. All right. This last part we don't need because we're going to use LEDs. So then your job is to then use this distance 
to create a series of if statements that will light up your lights in the correct order, depending on how far, how large this number distance is. And so that's your task for this class, for this assignment, is to create a board that uses all these things. Don't forget to use your resistors on the ground side of your LED pins, or LED lights. And um, I'm here to help. Be sure to ask questions. Uh, that is your job. I don't want to give you the answer for this one. This is one that you need to show me what you're doing. I will absolutely help you. But I want you to tell me more and show me understanding before I help you. All right. Um, all right. Sounds good.